Um, a great leader who supports people who are in recovery or sobriety calls it out, and I'll explain what it is, uh, when they see it or hear it. So when someone on your team jokes about um, something destructive that they've done while they're drunk, that could be very triggering to someone in recovery. Or if people are laughing about it, it might minimize how they feel or make it reductive about their own recovery. If you uh, are at an all hands meeting and the leader of the company makes a mention about uh, it's five o'clock somewhere, or I really needed that drink or da, 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 whatever. Okay. As a leader, you need to call that out where you see it because the only way that, you know, your team is going to feel supported and understood is if, you know, everyone at the organization is really on the same page when it comes to that. So bring it up to HR, bring it up to the actual leader that said something um, and really try to help them understand uh, why that's not okay. Um, And these might seem like really small examples, but when you're at the beginning, especially of your recovery, these small examples you look for these as reasons that you actually don't need to continue your recovery, right? You look for the normalization of the drug that you're taking as a reason that you just say, well, actually, you know what? Everyone does it. So I'm just going to keep doing it as an individual. So if you as a leader can help those get minimized in whatever way possible, then you are doing such a service for people who are in your organization and who are sober or in recovery. Yeah, so we've talked a little bit about this. So I'm not going to belabor it, but just organizing more events that are not centered around drinking or other triggers. So plain and simple, really try to do the best you can there. Um, you know, if you feel like the rhetoric uh, at your company overall is not really like an understanding one of these types of issues, maybe start to casually bring it up to other leaders in your management meetings or in, um, you know, meetings with HR representatives or business partners that you have. How can you, you know, maybe it's not with your direct manager, but sort of disseminate this information or make sure everyone is on the same page at your level. Um, thinking about those things and steps you can take there, again, a great service to the people who need to feel supported and understood. 